Well, it is fair season and the Allen County Fair is coming up and I am especially excited about the gospel tent. The, there is a great lineup and we have a new group of individuals running the gospel tent. We've got Lori with us, who's the president. Debbie is the vice president of the gospel tent. And let's just jump right in and talk about, um, let's just talk about changes because we're having some changes this year as far as how the gospel tent goes. Yeah, so um, one of the things that we felt uh, led to do was to put a fresh face on um, just the presentation of the gospel tent. So our hope is, is that every night out of that platform and this opportunity that God has given us that we can proclaim the gospel and provide people an opportunity to respond to it through the avenue, through the medium of the music and the testimony that will be on stage every night of the of the fair. And we'll talk about yeah. the lineup in just a moment, but if you went to the gospel tent in the past, you know there's been some incredible groups that have come in, and I wanna promise you there's gonna be incredible groups again. The reason why we have Lori and Debbie here is because the previous director retired, so we needed to have a changeover. And you know, sometimes when, when that happens, it's hard to get new people. And I was so excited when I found out that you guys stepped up and said, yes, we believe God's calling us to do this, yeah. do this project. Yes, yes. yes. Absolutely. When it was uh, laid on me and presented to me, I waited a couple weeks and I prayed on it. And I said, Lord, you've brought me to it. You're gonna lead me through it. <laughs> and everything has just fallen into place. And all of my thoughts on the gospel tent, on reaching, making it an outreach, reaching the younger generation is very important. We want to reach everybody as well. So that's with the change of the lineups come into play as well so that we can reach some of the younger, younger kids. We really, right. really want to reach the younger generation. Yeah. That's very, that's very important. Right. Yes. With the, the, the partnership that has always been with the ministry, Children's Choosing Christ, mm -hmm. um, you know, they've reached the younger kids. And then we, you know, went right, we kind of missed all the generations in between. Yes. And so the lineup reflects um, trying to draw in those younger generations, even from, you know, the teenagers to the young adults and even to, you know, like our older age group of people. Yes, just so. everybody. And we want them to know, you know, so many people walk by the gospel tent. Right. You know, they heard of it. They've never been to it. So many. And uh, we want to really say this is a place to come. Yes. This is a good, you know, we want to we want to freshen it up and liven it up with the word of Jesus yes. and just with the word and let them know that he's here, we're here and we're all here, you know? <laughs> right. Let's go into the lineup and see what we have. Like you said, there really is some something for everyone and every age yes. demographic is here. So we start off Friday night, seven o'clock with the Perry's. Yeah, yes. we're really excited about them. Yeah. They're a great dynamic group. Yeah, yeah, a lot of favorites. Yeah, and of people and a lot of people. Yeah, and we and once again we want to, we want to appease everybody, you know, and keep every you know everybody happy with the changes that are being made. Yeah, because that, changes a traditional are traditional. Change is hard. Group. Change, change yeah. is hard. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and yeah. we're not trying to leave anybody out. That's not a, that's not it. Like oh, we're just going to, because that's not what it's about. It's from you know from like Lori said, from the younger you know from the younger to the older. It's everybody. So we right. want to make everybody. We want to appease everybody. Well, the Perrys is a great group to get that started yes. with. Yeah. And just a reminder, um, you don't have to pay for these concerts. You just have to pay Absolutely. to get into the fair. Right. And all of the concerts, with the exception of Saturday, which we'll say is at seven o'clock, seven o'clock concerts. So yes. Friday night, the Perrys, Saturday night, the Bobby Bowen Family Band. Bobby Bowen. Bobby Bowen, thank yes. you. Thank yes. you. Well, <laughs> yeah. They're a traditional kind of a country gospel group. Bobby was involved in a, another uh, gospel group, I think back in the 70s and 80s. Since then, he's developed his own family group and they travel all over the country. But I thought it was a great draw because yeah. he's got his kids there. And we're, th you know, one of the acts told us before young people draws young people. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, and I, I enjoy, really enjoy the family bands at. Oh absolutely. yeah, they're just they perfect are. for the fair. Yeah, exactly. Yes, absolutely. Yes, yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. All right, Sunday, August 21st. Let's see if I can butcher this one. The Nellens. Nellens. All yeah. right. <laughs> yeah, and I, I hate to say this, but I really wasn't that familiar with them. But after I looked them up, they're mm -hmm. amazing. Yeah. They're amazing they group. A, great yeah. gospel group. Yeah, they are a great gospel group. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
So a lot of it is more gospel and not, uh, there's not a lot of quartets like there was mm -hmm. in the past. Uh, we, we, there's a lot of gospel. So. Still that genre of music. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Monday, August 22nd, The Sound. Mm -hmm. They're a younger group too. Yeah, yeah. newer. They newer. were there last year. Yeah. They were the last night. Really didn't draw a great crowd, but they're dynamic. Mm. Uh, lots of energy, yeah. younger, and I think people will love them. I hope that they draw a younger uh, generation yeah, and also. since then they have as well done a lot. Oh, they so, have yeah, climbed they've the climbed, they've climbed, yeah, so yes. they, I think, yeah. So even mm -hmm. even their stage performance could be stepped up a bit oh, from a year ago. Yeah, just right. from everything they've done yep. the last well, yeah, year. Their promo. Which it doesn't matter really. It's not yeah. about stage performance. Yeah. Right. But it's nice to it, enjoy. I think oh, more yeah. people will be familiar with them this year yeah. than last year. Great. Tuesday, August twenty third. So this is a special night because you have a local group, the Lot Sisters, mm -hmm. and then you're going to do a movie night. Yes. yes. So the Lot Sisters, I believe they started out just singing in their church. Um, they put out a CD, um, and that was how I discovered them, through their CD and through a personal contact. Um, they're beautiful, beautiful they sound, are. and they, they have are. such a Angelic. heart, <laughs> such a heart for sharing the gospel through their, and their underlying mission is to raise awareness for um, recovery addiction. Hmm. And they all tell those, their story. Um, there, there will be a, a wonderful testimony associated mm -hmm. with what they're going to do. And mm -hmm. I anticipate they're going to draw a big crowd. Wow, great. That's mm -hmm. Tuesday night. And then after that, you're going to show the movie A Walk with Grace. Yep. Yes. And yeah. we're hoping to reach a lot of the campground kids. Oh. You know, maybe they're a little bit bored, think, you know, you need to get out of the right. fair. Come get your popcorn or your fair junk food and bring it, sit under the tent and enjoy a movie. Wonderful. Wednesday, August 24th, a name we've heard a lot, Glory Way. Yeah, yeah. they're an up and coming also, excited for them. Yep. All right, and then here's where I really feel the change. Yeah. This is where I think we're gonna, we're gonna shift. Transition, shift yeah, transition and, and into that. And get mm -hmm. a, a younger demographic, because Thursday night we have contemporary Christian music artist Ryan Stevenson coming. Yes. Wow. So excited. Wow, yeah. this is free, guys, free. Yeah. You yeah. don't have you don't have to pay to get yeah. this ticket. You pay to get into the fair, and you can go to a Ryan Stevenson concert for free. Yeah. yeah, and that will be an acoustic show, which I've watched some. It's just as good. Mm -hmm. just, he's just as good no matter what he's doing. Yeah. yeah, his message is very strong, and yeah, I'm really excited about that too. All mm -hmm. right, and then Friday, August 26th. I am they. Yeah. Right? Wow. I know. And WTGN yeah. is helping bring yes. them. Yes. Thank you they've, to them. Yes. 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 They've Scott been Young and Scott's been a huge blessing. Yes. Great. On this. Well, even as far as uh, just calling him and going, hey. <laughs> he has. He's, he's we been, really he's appreciate been a what he's done. We do. And I'm sure he'll be there, the whole gospel yeah. tent with his nice round <laughs> yes. setup. And yeah. he'll and be he there will. hanging and out. He will. Yep. <laughs> We're going to put him on the spot a few times, I think. Very good. Very good. So I am they. I mean, that's. Yeah. That's. That's a headliner. That's yes, pretty nice. it is. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Yeah. And then finally, you wrap up Saturday, August 27th with a group that's gotten to be very well known. Yes. And I know that the leader is all about the gospel. Yes. Dr. Josh Steinke with Worship Anyway. And yes. that will be at 6 o'clock. Yes. The other ones are all at 7, but this one will be at 6. Yes. The reason we did that, first of all, um, we wanted to give plenty of room for the Holy Spirit to do whatever they wanted mm -hmm. to do. Hmm. Um, we started. We did start a little early to give them a little extra time because um, for us, uh, we have to shut, close everything down that night. Mm -hmm. So we wanted to give him a little extra time. One of the uh, other bonus things is, so worship anyway is going to be what we call the grand finale. Mm -hmm. It's going to be the grand finale. It's going to be awesome. Um, all week long, we're going to present the gospel. There's going to be a clear, definitive gospel message throughout every night of the fair. We're also, at the end of that, we're going to provide people who have responded to that, who maybe have never followed the Lord in a believer's baptism. There's going to be an opportunity for them mm -hmm. to do that. Revive Ohio is going to bring their baptismal. Wow. Wow. And, and, and what a memory yeah. that people would have if they received Christ during the fair or wanted to rededicate their lives they could say they got baptized at the fair. <laughs> that's yeah, great. that's going to that be awesome. Yeah, we're excited about that. Mm -hmm.
people can find more information. You've got a Facebook page. Yes, yes we so do. So they can like that Facebook page yes. and find out more. Yep. Of course, it this is will called the Gospel Singing Sing. Tent of the Allen County Fair. Okay. Yep. Yeah. All right. And um, this will be in, there's always a program that comes out and it will be in there. But every night, yep. 7 o'clock, with the exception of Saturday, 6 yes. o'clock. Yes. Just yep. go on over. Just go on in there. Just wander Come in. Come check us out. You don't even have to be there the whole time. Just wander your way in because it is definitely going to be a great, great yeah, time. It's very welcoming, like, very welcoming. We're just going to be there with smiles. Showing the on. love. Yep, showing the love. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. Thanks so much, ladies, for thank, thank giving you. us the information. Absolutely. And we look forward to seeing you out there at the fair. Thank, yes, you. thank you.